All right, so it's uh, early June 61, and I realize I've made a mistake. Um, unfortunately, Lion's Force is ready to go, which I'm... There it is. Um, however, I don't have any active supply wagons, and I did not build any here. Um, what it means is that I really could possibly move on Springfield, but um, I would basically... I'm building supply wagons now and they may or may not be finished next turn, um, which means if he gets to Springfield and isn't stuck, there's no supply wagons. So it's kind of too risky, and it's actually kind of a big mistake by me. Um, you can see that there's five militia units here just south of Springfield, and then you have Price's Force um, down here in Fayetteville. You can make it from Fayetteville to Springfield usually in about 15 days, so it's possible that Price, um, General Price could move up with the, the rest of the Army of the Arkansas um, up to Springfield. So rather than move on Springfield currently, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send um, Lion's Force to attack Jefferson City if there are any militia units there. Um, I'm going to spread out a few other units to start over take, start to take control of the rest of um, the railroad lines here in Missouri, and we'll target the one militia unit here in Vienna, Missouri, um, with the cavalry unit. I'll also um, send a couple send a unit down here to um, uh, try to get some more um, intelligence to see if we can see any, anything else. Uh, Sumner will come down from Iowa and uh, join the force um, in Lexington. Um, far out west, I'm going to send a cavalry unit um, into western Arizona. Um, I thought I had built a... Yes, I am building a militia unit there, as, as you can see. Um, and General Carson has just appeared... Um, here in Santa Fe. Uh, currently, we only have um, an additional ranger here. Um, there's beginning to be a bit of a force developed here in New York City. I'm going to send some more of the volunteer brigades on the way, and a couple other, um, a couple other spare, a couple other spare generals. Otherwise, the plan is to basically take over control of the railroads here um, in uh, Western Virginia. With Patterson's former force, uh, reinforce Harper's Ferry with one flank from uh, one, and one flank from Patterson. Um, and otherwise, pretty much sitting tight uh, in Virginia. Here, you can see we're um, building a lot, including uh, all the Zouaves in New York City uh, for the upcoming um, invasion, um, which I need to decide where to where to go. Um, and you can see I have uh, now sort of to um, put in replacements. So I've had requested one of each um, of the infantry. Uh, okay, so uh, let's run the turn and see what happens. Okay, um, we had several skirmishes. Um, pretty much all, all of them happened uh, here in, in Missouri. Um, and basically, um, there was a Confederate regiment that is... Um, anyways, I'll show you the last one here. Um, they're probably pretty much gone after that. I don't, in fact, I don't even see them uh, anymore. Um, General Lyons Force did take uh, Jefferson City, so we do um, uh, we do have um, the capital now. And unfortunately, though, there are new supplies there. Um, let's see if our uh, pack trains were built. This one was not. Uh, nope. So neither of them were. So we still don't actually have any supply wagons um, that will be uh, ready ready to go. Um, also, you can see that they destroyed uh, Rolling Missouri, which is interesting. That's kind of like a new feature in the game where you can actually burn um, where you can actually burn towns. Um, we do have some information down here in, in Springfield. You can see they're gathering the militia units, um, and General Price, as expected, is, um, is, is moving forward. So uh, we may have a big showdown um, in Springfield um, in the near future. Um, I'm going to peek over to what the situation looks like in, um, in Virginia. Um, the main armies are now um, no, longer, uh, no longer locked, as you can see. Um, and uh, we've taken over most of uh, the military control um, in Western Virginia. 
uh, except for uh, Morgan, West Virginia, which will be the last one um, that we'll need to get. Um, General Floyd's force is beginning to uh, um, run out of supply slowly. So you can see that they're no longer um, at uh, full supply. Um, and we have now uh, taken over Parkersburg. A militia unit has appeared. So we're basically gathering control over here in Western Virginia. Um, I'll probably go ahead and tell you now I'm not going to attack Manassas just because it's, it's really, you have to go all in um, with everything and I just generally don't, don't do that going after Manassas. Um, so um, yeah, you will not see me attack Manassas and I'll lose the 10 and just, yep, that is what it is. Um, take a quick look, see how things look up in um, in uh, New York City, you can see there's, there's a reasonably large force here now. Um, in addition, we are so also building the two um, blockade flotillas here, but it's going to take them a while before um, before they are before they are ready. Um, we have a balloon unit up here, up here. Um, so yep, yeah, so the force will be leaving um, from from New York City, and let's see. Currently, transport capacity is 86. That's a pretty, that's a pretty big force. Um, I may look at building one more transport unit, uh, possibly, but not necessarily. Um, okay, all right, that's pretty much it for this turn. Oh, let's take a quick look at see if there are any super interesting messages. Uh, mostly, movement things have been built. Um, so the units are still receiving forces. All right, we won all the few battles. Um, yeah, we did, um, we're able to find the Georgia Squadron and get some hits, a number of hits. And as you can see, the main armies are now um, active. Okay, all right, see you next time.